Uh, even before the attack on Fort Sumter in April of 1861, there are incidents in Arkansas and there are shots actually fired uh, in Arkansas before the actual outbreak of hostilities. There was a, an instance in which some militia uh, at Pine Bluff in Jefferson County fired on a ship which they thought was bringing reinforcements to perhaps to the arsenal or perhaps to the Indian Territory. Uh, there was uh, an incident down in Napoleon on the Mississippi River where some uh, pro-Confederate elements fired on Union shipping on the Mississippi River. Uh, there was also uh, an incident uh, in Little Rock when word uh, got out that the arsenal uh, was about to be reinforced. Now those rumors were completely unfounded, but when word reached uh, the Delta, uh, hundreds of people came to Little Rock uh, demanding that the governor uh, seize the arsenal from the 65 federal troops that were there. Uh, and eventually, uh, Governor Rector uh, was successful in, in, in persuading the captain, James Totten, who was uh, the son of a Little Rock physician, to peacefully surrender the arsenal. And uh, also, uh, before secession, uh, Rector sent a, a detachment of about a thousand men up the Arkansas River to Fort Smith to seize the federal outpost there. Uh, when they got there, they found out that the post had been abandoned. In Pine Bluff, a group of uh, uh, pro-Confederate militia <coughs> received a rumor that uh, a ship called the S.H. Tucker was coming uh, up the Arkansas River, uh, bringing reinforcements to the uh, federal arsenal at Little Rock. And so they readied cannon on the riverbank and prepared to uh, contest its passage, but it never showed up. Now, uh, some uh, uh, those same militia did fire on a, on a ship called the Silver Wave, which, was, which they believed was carrying supplies uh, upriver. But all this happens before the, really out, the outbreak of the war, so there are there are shots fired and there are incidents in Arkansas before the attack on Fort Sumter in April of 1861. Well, with regard to the issue of secession, Arkansas was very divided. Uh, uh, Arkansas was not one of the states that seceded in the first wave of secession after President Lincoln's uh, election in November of 1860. Uh, it's only after the attack on Fort Sumter and President Lincoln's subsequent call for troops that Arkansas uh, it does leave the Union. At the outbreak of the Civil War, thousands of young Arkansans rushed to join the colors, uh, eager to get into the war. But after the first taste of battle for some, and after the boredom and monotony and disease of camp life for others, now that martial ardor uh, quickly cooled. By the fall of 1861, enlistments had fallen off dramatically. And by the spring of 1862, uh, the shortage of manpower was so acute that the Confederacy would be forced to institute a draft. Arkansans uh, in the Civil War first saw action not in a battle in Arkansas, but in a battle in uh, southwestern Missouri, uh, near Springfield, a place called Wilson's Creek. Uh, a federal force of about 5,500 men had pushed the Confederates toward the southwest corner of the state, but uh, the, the Confederates uh, had assembled an army roughly twice that size and met them at Wilson's Creek it was a Confederate victory. The Union general, Nathaniel Lyon, was killed in the battle. And uh, the Battle of Wilson Creek was a Confederate victory. But uh, the aftermath of that uh, was not too beneficial to the Confederates. The Confederate command split up. Part of it retreated back into Arkansas. The uh, Missouri element of it pursued the Federals. Uh, and before long, the Federals had regained the initiative and it started pushing the Confederates back Toward, toward the Arkansas border. Uh, Wilson Creek was significant for Arkansas <clears throat> because the Arkansans who fought there, a couple of thousand of them, got their first taste of battle. And for many of them, that first taste was enough. When they came back to Arkansas, Thomas Hyman tried to enlist them in regular Confederate service, but most of them refused. The whole companies disbanded and simply went home. And much of the prosperity of Arkansas in the 1850s was based on uh, slave-based plantation agriculture. Slaves were an integral part of the equation. And with the emancipation of those slaves during the Civil War, uh, Arkansas slaveholders suffered a dramatic loss. And the Arkansas economy, which had been going so strongly in the 1850s, uh, takes a serious nosedive. Arkansas enters a period of economic decline, which it won't really get out of for 100 years. And in fact, Arkansas will never again reach the same status of wealth 
comparable to the other states that it enjoyed in the 1850s.